I would love you to play a game with me. Imagine that you are a king or a queen of your kingdom. Now, your kingdom is your life. It's what you create and design. And now, my mind, today I've written down a sentence. My mind is a spiritual estate. It's the highest respected thing. And I treat it with that way. So my mind is a spiritual estate and I treat it with the highest respect. I protect it and guard it and fuel it as I need to. Now, Napoleon Hill said one, one thing and he said there is only one thing in your life you can control. And now, as, as much as we would always love to, and let's, let's touch our heart, we would love to take control of over circumstances and situations and conditions that are around us, we can't. There is only one thing we can control, and that one thing is your thoughts. Now, how can you shift? I was, I was listening to um, one of my mentors, and I thought about the game. How can you shift from, well, I'm not going to say just negative thinking, but thinking that does not serve you to create the life of your dreams? Remember, when you're a king, you rule your kingdom the way you desire you don't take orders from anyone you are the king and a queen ruling the castle your kingdom so you can just say whatever you desire and love now how can you shift this non-serving thinking to the good one is you move from giving an a net or release Okay, let me take this away. I'll say it again. You notice what you're noticing when you have the thoughts that no longer serve you and you release any negative thoughts and you shift by saying next. Now, when you say next, what happens is you're thinking from I can't, will gay, what can I do? There is always something I can do. And that something I can do, it's the shift from the negative thoughts to a gratitude. Because when you think about what you can do, doesn't matter if it's a little step, and we talked about this before, choose a smaller step where you can actually appraise yourself and feel proud that you've achieved that step because that little step will give you a power. And remember, thinking is actually exercising your muscles. So it needs exercising. You need to practice and do this daily. It's like taking decisions. If you make a decision fast, you get into a habit of making them fast. So just because you can control them does not mean you will, unless you take control and practice and exercise the muscles. So be the king and a queen of your kingdom and control the choice because you always choose the thoughts always and always. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, have a great weekend. I will actually see you on Monday. Bye.